is NBC5 at 10. Home alone when masked men break in. I saw them, but they didn't see me. Right here on this door. Tonight, a frightened family speaks out about the crime that has them all a little worried. I came up from work, and my son came outside, outside, freaked out and scared, saying the guy came in the house with masks, mask on. A mother left home uh, for work this morning thinking her children were safe. Yeah, and but she makes it home and her son and two other children terrified by masked men who burst into the house along Northwest 26. The boys hid in a bedroom until the bandits were frightened away. NBC5 Scott Gordon's live in the Fort Worth neighborhood with the family's incredible story. Well, Mark, we just learned three men are now in custody being questioned right now by police. This is a busy part of North Fort Worth. This happened in a neighborhood just a few blocks from here. Uh, we were playing games until we, I, I saw a shadow. I saw someone with like a black bandana and then yellow right here. Twelve-year-old cousins Kevin Avila and Daniel Rodriguez and a 14-year-old relative were home alone when they say two masked men were trying to break in. They were knocking on the door and then trying to break in from the windows and stuff like that. The men ended up breaking the lock on the back door. The boys stayed hidden. Like I saw them, but they didn't see me. That's when Kevin's mother happened to come home from work. My mom came, like, right in time, too. And they jumped the fence back here. Without even knowing it, she apparently scared the burglars away. Right when we opened the door, they were already gone. I was, like, in shock or something. If I didn't show up on time, they would have been dead. That was my worst fears. She called police, who arrived quickly. They got in two minutes. And arrested one of the men nearby. Oh my God, it's like, it's, it's crazy. You wouldn't think that your house, can somebody come to your house with a freaking mask on and broad daylight? I mean, look at it, it's daylight. Again, it looks like some quick police work on this one. Three suspects in custody right now, and they could face charges soon. Reporting live in Fort Worth, Scott Gordon, NBC5. Thank you, Scott. Right now, parts of Duncanville are...